Okay, guys, buckle up for this one. It gets pretty wonky. So this is Debbie Reynolds. She starred in one of the greatest musicals ever made, Singing in the Rain with Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor. It was made in 1952, but it was set in the silent film era of the 1920s. The whole idea was there were all these stars who were great at silent film acting, but once talkies came along in 1929, suddenly those actors weren't marketable anymore because their voices sounded like trash. And I can't stand him. And I can't stand him. I'm Dara Star Tucker, and this is The Breakdown. So the Debbie Reynolds character, Kathy Selden, is hired to overdub the singing and speaking voice for a silent film actress named Lena Lamont, played by Gene Hagen, who sounds like this. And if the girl were I, would you? When Lena Lamont is overdubbed with Kathy Selden's vocals, you get this. And they were only friends. would you dare to say? Now, here's the first bit of irony. That wasn't actually Debbie Reynolds singing. No, in a classic case of Life Imitates Art, this... He holds in his arms, would you... ...is itself an overdub. Here's what Debbie's real voice sounded like. He holds in his arms, would you... The real singer is a woman named Betty Noyes, and she did this part with no screen credit. If you're familiar with classic Disney films, you might know Betty Noyes from this. Baby, mine, don't you cry. In fact, she sang in several musicals, including The Wizard of Oz, White Christmas, The Sound of Music, and Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Winter weddings can be gay. All with no screen credit. Debbie Reynolds was fairly young when she got the role of Kathy Selden in Singing in the Rain. She was 19 years old. She was a pretty good singer, but not a professional. Now, this is where the really wonky part comes in. Because Debbie Reynolds was so young and had almost a childlike voice. What did you have to be so conceited about? There wasn't enough of a contrast when they wanted to do a side-by-side -side of Kathy's voice and Lena's voice. For this reason, the woman who played Lena Lamont, Jean Hagen, had to overdub Debbie Reynolds' voice because Jean's voice was so much more mature in real life. So what you're hearing here is Gene Hagen overdubbing Debbie Reynolds, who's pretending to overdub Gene Hagen. Just listen. Nothing can keep us apart. Our love will last till the stars turn cold. All right, Kathy, go ahead. Nothing can keep us apart. Our love will last till the stars turn cold. Now one last note, Debbie Reynolds was allowed to sing a couple of the upbeat songs that didn't require a lot of vocal finesse, where she could be supported by Donald O'Connor and Gene Kelly. Good morning, sing in the rain, just sing in the rain. Oh yeah, and for all her hard work as the butt of the joke, Gene Hagen was the only actor in this film to be nominated for an Academy Award.